noon today, only 130 miles separate Alex Thompson from Armel Le Clerche in a tactical duel arbitrated by a high-pressure bubble blocking the passage at the level of Uruguay. There's still a great way back to Les Sables d'Olonne. I'm trying to get through this high-pressure area and gain some wind, sailing upwind in a few hours, and then we'll be able to summarize, maybe in a week or so. We'll see then where we stand with Alex. Jean-Pierre Dick should be crossing the Cape Horn towards the end of the day, provided the weather shows helpful. I find myself in an enormous dead wind zone, hoping to set off again. It's a great disappointment today. My head start on Jean-Luc Ham and Yann Elias will be reduced to nothing. That's it. That's the way it goes. But it's tough. I hope we can catch up on Jean-Pierre. It would be cool if he could eat some slack. He's off, he's off. Maybe for three hours at least. That's for sure. Now, if we could get to not too far behind. And you, you see the weather system? Wow, we could. At the heart of the race, the Irish skipper Enda O'Coinin decided to reroute towards Stewart Island, south of New Zealand, to do several repairs in calmer waters. More in the back. Last night, Romain Atanasio gave himself a real scare. I spent the night in hell, I can tell you. I woke up in the dark, put my feet down, it was full of water. Water all over. I go see the trap door right here. 200 liters of water was behind it. I look for my beacon box and it's gone. The seats are completely torn off. I go out, the beacon was in the drain hole, clogging it up, a perfect plug. So I take it out, empty it all, put everything away, go back in the boat. The phone rings, a call from the Australian security telling me, you've activated your beacon, are you okay? Should we send the rescue? I tell him, no, 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 it's a mistake. It turned itself on by mistake. So now the beacon is in the pressure cooker. Absolute madness. And finally, Paul Meja, who had abandoned because of keel problems, arrived safely yesterday in Polynesia. Thank you. Thank you so much. This morning, I was still on my own. It warms my heart because it's difficult to give up the race. So to be welcomed like this definitely makes me feel much better.